everyone, welcome to Semavi. My name is Nicole and I am at Disneyland. Finally, after a year or 440 days, that's what they were saying at the time that they were closed. We're finally back. Look at all this line. I'm so excited to go in. And today is a rainy day at Disney and I didn't bring an umbrella. So I think we're gonna need to buy one. I wanted to feel part of something, you know? Now I have a good excuse. I thought of one of why I have the first time because it's my first time since COVID. <laughs> There's a magical castle. So the castle in Paris is so much bigger, you say? Yeah. Hmm. Let's fact check that. A few minutes later. That's the castle in Paris. Okay. Yeah. So big compared to this one. So we are right now in line for Space Mountain. It is actually only 40 minutes. We just decided to do this one first because we wanted to get over with the long line first. And we don't want it to get longer during the day. So this will be our first one. I used to be so scared of Space Mountain before, but then I did it and I was like, wow, it's so worth it. We'll see how I look in the picture because I'm always like, <laughs> you look like a Victoria's Secret model with your hair like that. So now to go into the Indiana Jones game, there's a virtual queue. So you have to go to the Disney app, download it if you don't have it. Right now our group has been called. We were group number 16. This is how the virtual pass looks like. Kind of like a fast pass, but virtual. Few moments later. I've made a drastic change to my outfit because it's really starting to rain. Oh, maybe I should put these like this. Leave me alone! I don't want the rain to destroy my look. It already has that, but I'm... <laughs> Someone, you can't even see my eyes. I look so creepy. <laughs> Someone just airdropped me a picture. I don't know why. I'll post the picture over here so you guys can see it, but it's like a cat and it's like... It's a funny picture. Thank you for that person who airdropped me that picture. First time I'm taking off my mask here at Disney because I'm sitting down in one of the dining areas. We are at Red Rose Tavern. I chose this place because they have a vegan dish. They have a grilled cauliflower sandwich which I'm very excited to try because most of the vegan dishes over here it's usually with impossible meat and my stomach doesn't do well with impossible <laughs> meat so I was very surprised to find this grilled cauliflower sandwich turns out you have to order your food online you can't just walk in and order the food we are very hungry our food will be ready in about 40 minutes so we decided to go into the Peter Pan ride it is only 30 minutes I think that's the shortest wait time I've ever seen for Peter Pan Ending so abrupt. Whoa. 
We actually even had time to ride the Snow White Scary Adventure, which is now called the Snow White Enchanted Wish. They made a few changes, they made it a bit more bright and magical, and it follows the storyline. Oh my god, are we getting sleepy? Sleepy. Not you! Sleepy, sleepy. <laughs> Now it's finally time for food, but I'll give you guys a little story time <laughs> before the food's here. I came to Disneyland and California Adventure March 7th and 8th, and I remember COVID started to hit, but people weren't really believing it. I went to Disneyland the weekend before they closed, so they closed March 14th and 15th, and they closed for what, for 140 days? And that's when it hit me, because I was at Disneyland, I went to Disney, Disney in California, and then I went to a concert that Monday after that weekend. And I was like, COVID who? Who? And then Disneyland closed that weekend after, and that's when it started to hit me. This is real. But now we're back. I got the cauliflower sandwich. I discovered this meal thanks to the happiest vegan on earth. She's a blogger and a YouTuber. She does videos about Disney, vegan Disney food. This is the cauliflower sandwich. As you can see, it looks very yellow to be a, <laughs> a burger, a normal one like that one. Get in, loser. We're going shopping. the Millennium Falcon scavenger hunt? No. <laughs> Smugglers run. Smugglers run. We are in the queue, but it's cool because we are kind of in the staff entrance, so they made this line bigger so we would be able to queue outside. So we're going into some exclusive places now because of COVID. <laughs> Ooh, I think this one has a little spice. One of each, yes. Yes. We're about to try this. Cheers. Why? It tastes good. I don't think he's a fan. It looks like it tastes and tastes like smell of juice. We're in line for Big Thunder right now. It had been closed throughout the day and then we saw that it was open and it's a 25 minute wait. And we came over here, we ran, and now it's 40 minutes. Really? And we were told by one of the cast members that Disneyland is at 35% capacity. So that's why they're closing at nine and nine at seven. We're almost done actually, and I think it's about five. <laughs> almost. <laughs> he wants to leave. <laughs> He's tired. 
he's an, a little old man, a little old French man. He wants his baguettes. Mm, baguettes, baguettes, baguettes. And his, and his wine. He's on the edge of his seat. done with Disney and leaving the park when it, there's still light up and we're signing up right in front of the Sleeping Beauty castle thank you guys so much for watching my video thank you so much for hanging out with me I hope you liked my Disney experience and hopefully you guys can come soon it's starting to open up a bit hopefully people that are not only residents for California can come in I felt unreal to come back to Disney I loved being in this Disney atmosphere. Everybody's always with their ears. Everybody's so happy. The cast members are amazing. Like, comment, subscribe, push that notification bell, and I hope to see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!